Good morning, folks. We'll begin with the sun. Set your eyes on a deceptive calm. There are no major flashes of solar flares. No big filaments erupting or other CME activity released in Earth's direction. We have a towering plasma filament incoming on the northeastern limb, but that's about it. The sunspots are not producing in any way, shape, or form. Let's look at three groups. Big boys up north have moderate mixing potential, but spread and decay would need to cease and reverse that trend. Just behind that, the spots are still small, but they're in a line and might have a chance to mix, actually. To the south of that, it is still organizing, but they've got some size and the beta complexity, with at least one more spot coming in just behind it. I assume you all remember yesterday's earthquake factors. Let's check in to see where we are now. First, solar energy poured into Earth as a proton surge yesterday, but today it's the auroras that are alight with speedy solar plasma bombarding oxygen and nitrogen in the upper atmosphere from a coronal hole stream that finally arrived yesterday evening. Speed and plasma ramp up currently has taken Earth into a level 2 geomagnetic storm. KP index hit 6. The space energy is also creating more magnetic pulsations. Then, we have the corona hole which already offered its IMF influence, but now that continues with a chance for alpha waves and twirling phi angles in the solar wind. So it's no surprise that we took another large earthquake, a 6.8 magnitude rumble struck off the coast of Honshu, Japan. There was no tsunami warning and no real damage due to how offshore the shaking occurred. It was an earth spot quake as Typhoon Noel ran right over Tokyo and then out and over the earthquake zone, less than a hundred miles apart during the event. Perfect correlation. We also took an above average quake south of Africa and we're getting worried about further deaths from that big Nepal aftershock we reported yesterday morning. It hit seven magnitude. Also folks, Etna has begun erupting once more, Italy's most active mountain, at it again. Just plain beautiful. Now while this eruptive activity is stunning and right on point, I want to show one stunning explosion that's a bit outside our normal range of coverage. This is allegedly a missile strike, which is nothing we usually like to discuss. In fact, it's somewhat depressing, but how often do you get a shot of one exploding live from the ground? I make no comment on the turmoil myself, just how rare of a capture the man made. Quite the cloud in the aftermath as well. Top story today is about Europa. Sea salt. That's all I have to say. Sea salt on Europa. Hashtag Starwater. Anyway, the other typhoon, Dolphin, set to head towards Japan now as well. It is just a couple days away. We're coming next south. Australia and New Zealand looking at a high pressure node sticking around and now attempting to clear the weather for the entire area. It'll do battle with the remnant convergence just to the south of New Zealand, dissipating low. In the west, we have our next heat and moisture flow coming out of that same area. As the next low pressure cell settles in and readies for another hellish week ahead of it as the temperatures show you just how much energy it is receiving when you compare it with the east. And also, you can see its moisture delivery system off the gulf. Another dangerous system the next few days. A little bit less so tonight. Lastly, folks, Europe has two lows in the north. Both will draw their convergence line nearly due south as they trek eastward. The eastern convergence does tail back west as we get down into the central portions of the continent. Folks, please remember, we're on baby watch. My wife is due any day now, so if I don't show up one of these mornings soon, I'm a dad. Also, the first free resource coming out of our partnership with Earth Changes Media is magneticreversal.org. It is under construction, but already worth a look. I seem to have talked through the current conditions. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.